Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to make this beautiful butterfly beaded spiral. If you saw my latest mobile video, you will have seen this starting process. The only difference is I keep the spiral long on this one. So you can jump to 242 of the attachment of the beads and butterflies or go to the link in the description and it will take you right there. And starting off with a piece, two pieces of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, and I'm gluing them together. And then I'm taking and marking off all of the edges in two inch increments and making this pie um, type of design and painting in every other pie section in black. And then I'm going to uh, flip it over and paint the back side with black because I didn't have any black um, scrapbook paper. And here I'm using chalk and I'm just marking the center and I'm starting a semicircle. Um, and I'm using this piece of paper here that's two inches in width. And I'm just going around, as you can see, and just marking off the edge of the spiral cutting it out and then I'm going to clip off this end so all the corners are gone and then I'm just taking a damp rag and wiping off those chalk marks. For attaching the hanger I'm using two buttons and some um, fishing line, actually, uh, any kind of strong thread will work. And I'm uh, attaching also a swivel hook that comes from the fishing department. And you can find these, like, even at Walmart. And they're uh, swivel hooks. I put, uh, I attach it from the uh, circular side. It's nice and smooth. And um attach that really well. Now I am showing this on the tail end of the spiral, but after having put these together, I actually like them hanging from the center. So I would recommend um, sewing the buttons and the hanger on the center side and I actually left these loops on because I could dangle something from the bottom too. So either way is fine. Okay so I have here 24 gauge wire and I cut them off at three and a half inch lengths and um, and then I take my chopstick that I have marked off with a pencil um, just so that my loops are consistent in size and then I just hold it like this and wrap it around like so okay until you get a 90 degree angle like that and take your sequins the one that you're using to dangle, your dangling sequins. Oh my gosh, I need my glasses. Okay, and then what you do is I just simply take my finger and I bend this over. And you could do it two times and then clip off that little extra end here. Add about five to seven beads, uh, depending on what you're using. It adds about half an inch worth. And then on my, my piece here, I just come up from the bottom into the pre-made hole that I made with my needle. And then I put on a piece of sequins for the other side of the washer. And here, I'm going to use some long beads just so you don't have to watch me thread them on here. <laughs> Once you've got them on, um, hold them tight, you know, from the bottom. I'm holding this from the bottom like this. And then just bend it at a 90 degree angle. And there's our chopstick. And then I just take my chopstick again 
and wrap this end all the way around it until it comes back around. Pull it out. See, you can see the the loop that I just, oops, sorry, golly. So you can see the loop that I just made and put, put the dangly on and then wrap it around and take your wire cutters and simply, whoops, sorry cut off this little excess. And I always like to put my finger over the part that's being clipped in case it wants to fly. And so there you have it. You've got your little little danglies. And so here it is with all of the beads put on here. And I'm really excited about the way this is turning out. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I want to show you how I'm attaching the beads or the butterflies to the edge. And we're going to take our wire and like we did before, just create a loop till it's at a 90 degree angle. Add your dangling piece, wrap it around. Okay, so just like we did before. Now, what we're going to do is add our sequin that we're going to use as a um, washer. Add your butterfly. Add another sequin. Add about uh, an inch or so worth of beads. So about maybe halfway through. Put your little washer on. Again, cup side facing the beads and then come down through your hole that you've pre-made. Make the hole about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to bend this, okay? So you've got your wire and your beads at kind of a 90 degree angle. Put on another washer add a couple more beads and we're only going to add enough to come to the edge and that's about two or three beads okay and we're going to now bend these like so and then just twist this put the wire in between a bead can you see that and then we're just going to wrap it around nice and tight and then clip off that excess. So here we are looking at the spiral mobile as it's hanging up and spinning. Isn't that pretty? And I did put little tiny butterflies on the white spots on the underside, and I really like that. Um, and I just want to say, if you don't have any die-cut butterflies, Shannon Green, just in the last video hop, she uh, demonstrated how to make some butterflies very fun super simple project that would be ideal for this so i will put a link uh, i'll put an i card up and a link to her video uh, where you could give that a try if you'd like now um this next segment it's like a little bonus i want to show you a really really easy mobile that was i made this was the first one that i tried and it's uh just simply gluing cutting out butterflies from a calendar and gluing them on so this would be a really kid friendly project especially if the spiral were pre-cut for them and look at just how stunning that is and this is so simple it's just gluing them on and i decorated i sprayed the backs of the calendar pages the back of the butterfly with uh, some tattered angels so I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you are not a subscriber and leave a comment for me. I'd love to know what you think of these butterfly spiromobiles. And if you haven't already seen the junk jewelry video, click on the iCard or in the description below. Until next time, bye-bye.